Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on creating a schedule for business reports in Bold Reports Report Server. Before getting into the process, let's talk a bit about schedules in Bold Reports. A schedule is the process of automatically sending an exported report to users by email at a specific time interval. Users who have the appropriate permission can create, edit, and delete the schedule in Bold Reports Report Server. Report Server provides report-specific schedules to help you control report processing and distribution. All schedules can implement monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, or yearly recurrence. In this video, we will see how to create a schedule in Bold Reports Enterprise Reporting. Before creating the schedule make sure you have configured your email settings. The email configuration is available in the settings. Email tab. I have provided the documentation link for how to configure the email settings in the video description for your convenience. Now, let's see how to create a schedule. To create a schedule, the user should have the Create All Schedule permission. You can create a schedule in three ways. You can click the action icon in the report list and select Create Schedule from the context menu. Click the Create New icon and select Schedule from the sliding panel or select Schedules from the navigation bar and click the Create Schedule button. Let me create a schedule by clicking the Create Schedule button in the Schedules page. The schedule dialog will open. In this dialog, the asterisk represents a mandatory field. The category field represents which category the report is going to be selected from for scheduling. Select the sample reports category from the drop down list. The report field represents the report name that is going to be selected for scheduling. Select the Sales Order Detail Report. The Schedule Name field represents the name for the schedule. I enter the name Sales Order Daily Scheduler. Set Parameters is used to enable or disable the option to set a parameter value for the selected report. This option is only enabled if the report has parameters. I enable the Set Parameters option. The Enabled option is used to enable or disable the schedule. By default, it will be enabled. Click the Next button. Since I enabled the Set Parameter option, I'm presented with the step to configure the parameters. In this step, you can set the parameter values for the scheduled report. If you enable the Use Default option, the default value set in the report will be selected. Click the Next button. Now let's set the type, recurrences, start, and end. The type field refers to the recurrence of the schedule. The available types are hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. For this demonstration, I select the daily type. Recurs displays the recurrence of the schedule based on the selected type. The starts on field refers to the starting time of the schedule. Ends refers to when the schedule will stop. The never option means the schedule will run forever until we disable it manually. After occurrences allows you to end the schedule after a specified number of occurrences. On allows you to configure the end date of the schedule. By default, the never option is selected. Click the next button. Now let's enable or disable file compression. File compression is used to compress the report attachment before sending it. The attachment can even be password protected. If this option is enabled, the file will be compressed. If not, the directly exported file will be attached. 
This option is not mandatory. You can secure the exported reports with password protection with the Enable Password Protection option. By default, the default password option is selected so that your password will be the first four and last four letters of your email ID. By selecting Custom Password, you can customize your password. The custom password is the combination of the first or last four characters of your first name, last name, and email ID. Click the Next button. Now let's customize the email. In the Subject field, you can customize the subject of your email. In the Body field, you can customize the body of your email. We have provided predefined variables to use in the body of your email. They can be inserted from the Select Variables drop-down. The variables are Full name, which represents the full name of the recipient. First name, which represents the first name of the recipient. Last name, which represents the last name of the recipient. Schedule name, which represents the name of the schedule. Report name, which represents the scheduled report name. Report link, which represents the link to the scheduled report. Export format, which represents the exported files format. Organization name, which represents the organization name configured in the settings page. And category name, which represents the name of the category. A note will be displayed at the bottom of the body field for adding a hint for the decryption password. This note will be displayed only if the Enable Password Protection option is selected. Click the Next button. Now let's select the subscriber in the export format. The format option is used to select the export format of the report. By default, the PDF option is selected. You can also export your report in Excel, Word, HTML, PowerPoint, and CSV formats. Exported reports can be sent to individual users or groups by enabling the Email Attachment option. By default, the Email Attachment option is selected. You can add a user and a group from the respective drop-down lists. You can also add an external recipient by entering the value in the external recipient text box. And by clicking the plus icon. External users are those who are not from the internal domain, not from the same organization, and do not belong to report server users. You can also save exported reports to any location by enabling the Save as File option. You need to provide the export path and the maximum report count if you want to save the report. By default, this option is disabled. Click the Schedule button. The schedule will be saved, and the confirmation message will be shown with the schedule information. Click the OK button. If you want to run the scheduled report immediately, click the action icon in the scheduled list and click Run Now. The report will be sent to the registered email ID. In the received email, you will see the report is included as an attachment. I download the attached report. And extract the downloaded file. Open the extracted folder, where you will get the exported PDF file. Open the PDF file. You will see the sales order detail report. You can also see the emails that have already been received as per the schedule I created earlier. This is triggered automatically by our scheduler service. To disable the schedule, click the action icon. And select disable from the context menu. The status of the schedule will be changed to inactive. To edit the schedule, click the action icon. And select edit from the context menu. 
To delete the schedule, click the action icon. And select delete from the context menu. In this video, we have learned how to create a schedule in bold reports. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.